All right, once you have your texture all kind of nice and neat and fixed, uh, you'll always miss one spot or two, but uh, just, yeah, didn't see that one until I started the video. There we go. Fix that brick up like that. Okay, good. What I'm going to do is now do a copy merge. Edit, copy, merge, edit, paste. Um, then I'm going to take and go to filter, sharpen, smart sharpen. And I want to sharpen this pretty good, uh, but not too much. So just enough. Uh, how do I know? Let's say when I roll into it, I should be able to see, you know, cracks and crevices and stuff like that. Pretty easy. Uh, if I got too much going on, like if I back this down, it starts to get a little blurry. But that's right about here is actually good because I can still see the little tiny cracks. Alright, now, um, as I said, I wasn't real fond of the color. Um, I like muted tones a little bit more for my scenes. So if I go to image adjustments, hue, saturation... I can knock down the saturation level a little bit on this and get a little bit more to what my style of art is. There we go. Okay, next. Um, I like this, but it does repeat quite often. Uh, so this is what I do for that. I'll go randomly looking for another texture to throw on top of it to get rid of the monotonous nature of it. Um, oh, right here. This is good. And I'm only using this for the color. I'll edit paste that in and scale it down some. doesn't really matter about the scale. And then go in here and change it to something else, like uh, soft light or pin light. And then lower down the resolution, or the opacity. So this is with it on, this is with it off. And you can see up close, if I turn this off, turn it back on, see how much that lends to it? Yeah, brightens it up again, so that's good. Okay, now... Um, now that I have all this, usually I try to tidy up some. I don't need any of these layers anymore. So I trash them. I don't need this layer anymore. I can trash it. Uh, these I will use. And what else I might need is the fact that I'll group these together. So layer, group layers, and I'll call this color. Okay, now let's go like this. Let's go edit, copy, merge, edit, paste. That'll be on top. I want a normal map of this. So I use the NVIDIA normal map generator. Uh, you can find that online. Just type in NVIDIA normal map generator. If you're in my class, it's, it's a mandatory thing to have installed on your computer. Okay, there are others, certainly. Um, I just like using this one because it is in Photoshop and it does have a, a good way to preview it. It's fast. S students get accustomed to um, how easy it is. And then when you go searching other ones, certainly you're more than free to use those too. But uh, at least this one is what I'm using for the videos. So NVIDIA Normal Map Generator. All right. Um, now with the white, what I need is the white to be indented and the bricks to be outdented. Uh, NVIDIA actually works in the principle of white is going to be bumped up and black is going to be sucked in. So we need the exact opposite of this for brick. So what I do is go image adjustment black and white and I try to get rid of all color leaving it more of a dark gray and a stark white. And then I go image, adjustments, invert. Okay. 
and then I go because I, I like this map I'm gonna keep it so edit copy merge edit paste I might use that for something else filter NVIDIA tools normal map filter you can use a scale of one to four uh, generally I use three and four and there we go now there's a lot of dead pixels here so I'll spend some time to image adjustment and go to levels and kill out those dead pixels by bringing it to the start point of these curves anything from here to there is dead pixels and there we go we have a normal map now there are ways to make even a, a higher fidelity normal map uh, for right now we're just going to check on lower low fidelity normal mapping um, and rely on it and later on uh, we'll look at that and how to generate high fidelity normal mapping in Photoshop so file let's see what else do I need I think that's it yeah because there's no specularity with bricks now I'm ready to save all these out I'll start by going into TGA and you can see I have some bricks and normal maps already uh, that means I'm gonna have to make a new desktop folder called video warehouse so I don't cheat okay brick underscore and this is the NM normal map I'm using TGA format for this class I'll just uncheck oh make sure 24 pixels 24 bits uncheck that one let's go to this one and I'll go file save as and save that as a TGA this is going to be called brick CM and I might save this one out because I can use it to strengthen the map so I'm going to save as and go to TJ and I'll just say this is brick miscellaneous MISC okay last but not least so save as I'm gonna make a production folder and in here I'll save in my brick as a Photoshop file with layers I do not want that folder if if I ask for a project I don't want that project folder I only want the TGAs that's for your use only in case you have to change something or you have to produce a new map all right um, in Maya well let's split the video right now and then in the next video we'll go into Maya and apply the brick